Good morning, friends. I was going to say it's a bin day, but guess what? Change of plans. Yesterday, I learned that all the Goodwill stores in my city are 50% off for the next few days. Maybe you already saw that video. It was my first time back in Goodwill in literally months. And it, I went once to meet my mom at Goodwill. And before that, it had been months. I've been really boycotting the Goodwill because their prices are so high and they have no sales. So I went in for the first time yesterday. I really scored. So I was going to go to the bins today and I said, you know what, Quimby, this is very rare for your Goodwill to have a 50% off sale. So I'm not going to go to the bins. I'm going to go to at least one Goodwill store, maybe two. There's a huge Goodwill store, you guys. All the way on the other side of town. It's like a 20 minute drive for me at least. It, but it's huge. And they open at 10 and it's like, not, I'm looking at my, I have no watch on. Why am I looking there? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, we're going to go. And I'm going to try and stick to things like pants. That'll be $3 at 50% off. It'll still be $5 for a, for a dress and jeans. So I have to be extremely selective. I'm going to try and buy things that I think I can sell for $25, $30. Do you think that's a good plan? Um, and pay three to $5 for it. So I'm going to be more selective. I'll take you into the store, this big, huge store. It's the biggest Goodwill I've ever seen. Um, so let's go. We're going to pivot. Why does everyone hate the word pivot? <laughs> It's a good word. Is it because maybe during the pandemic it was overused or something? But we're pivoting. I'm not at the bins today. I'm going to be at Goodwills and you're coming with me. Oh my God, this is such a shame. Smart wool. I never find smart wool. But it's got a big hole right on the front. I wonder if people will still buy it like that. You have to look it up. And this is Matilda Jane, which is a really good kids brand. So I'm going to look and see how the adults do. Look how cute that is. Looks like Lily Pulitzer, right? So I just found this little free people dress. It has extra small. It's lace, so it would be $5. Then I have to check comps on this. It's a really nice, the North Face size XL. Floral long sleeve top, so that might be good going into the season. I'm taking a quick spin through the jackets, which are normally 10, so they would be five. So I'm gonna find a jacket that I could sell for like $30 at least. Total score, this is Marine Layer. Great brand, it's a size medium. It's a women's, because the buttons are on the left. But it's like a jacket, you guys. It's, it's a flannel, but it's thick enough that it's almost like a jacket, but it's more of a top. So yes, that's a major score. I found really good stuff at this thrift store before, but it's like, normally that would be $7. Which I don't love to spend. What are they? What's this? They have marked up to 20. Oh, a vintage Pendleton. Virgin wool. It's pretty good, actually. And they have this marked up to 25. Talbot size 14. Blazer. It's new a tag. That's pretty good. I'd get that if it was just regular price. Here's an old Anthro brand. The net wool floor that I usually skip. You guys, this is my lucky day. Another marine layer, size medium. This is a sweater. Sort of a sweatshirt sweater. Such a good brand, that's a definite yes. And that was sitting here in the skirts, okay? So I think what I'm learning, oh, I'll put that back on the hanger in a sec. I think what I'm learning is to look everywhere because maybe it's crazy in here. Look how huge this dress section is. It just goes on and on and on. $10 and then it's more dresses, more dresses. Okay, what do you guys think of this? This is a long suede jacket. It might be faux suede. It's Velvet by Graham and Spencer, which is a good brand, sold at Anthro. Here's the issues. Oh no, here it is. I thought I think somebody cut the size tag out, but here it is, medium. And it's faux suede, but it's like a long trench with a belt. I'm gonna get that, it'll be five bucks. Okay, you guys, I think it pays to show up here first. I mean, mostly it's this stuff. I'm just showing you guys the highlights, but mostly it's like here's Old Navy. Zenergy by Chico's is good, but it's only a size one. 
Avon Vivius Target. So like this is the real deal of thrifting. I'm just showing you um, obviously the highlights. But there of course is a lot of sifting through junk, junk, junk. Oh my God, I love that suede jacket. Don't try it on, Quimby. Don't try it on. Okay, so hello, Escada Sport. I have an Escada Sport sweater that sat for a long time, but this is kind of cool. It's like a lightweight windbreaker. I'm gonna have to check comps because there's a little bit of wear. I'll, rep I'll let you know what I think of that. Okay, look at this enormous pants section. I've gone through half of it. Here's my cart, so I can show you what I have so far after going through this endless, seemingly endless pants section. <laughs> Let's take a look over here, actually. Okay, these are great because of the style, super wide leg cropped pants, and they're Vince, V-I-N-C, which is an amazing brand, size 12, yes! And then I found these, these are Babette. This is a designer out of San Francisco, but it's discontinued. When I first started reselling, I found this stuff all the time and sold it. Um, I have to look this stuff over for flaws, but those are like a wide leg accordion pleat pants. And then I love this brand, Garnet Hill. And these again are like a super duper wide leg. Pull on stretchy pants, but they're like seriously wide leg. And I found two pairs one in black and one in brown, so that's really good. I think I'm gonna put the Escada Sport jacket back, you guys, because it's, um, the comps on that are just not good, and I have to look this up. This is Walter Baker. Had a little trouble selling this brand, but this top retailed for 158, and it's new at tags. It's like a gold bronze peplum hem tank top, so I'm gonna check comps on that. I'm gonna do a little sorting. I also found this Free People top, which you know I love, and, it's new with tags. Look how cute this is. It's more like a tunic, kind of rust color, floral, and um, new with tag, size small. Oh my god, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I found this 1X Eileen Fisher top, which is such a bolo. It's a tunic top, it's long and green. It has a little spot right there, um, but I'm just thinking, I think that's worth stain treating for $3.50. Um, a long olive green tunic, even with a little spot like that, I could probably still sell it. And this is a made in Italy top. It's like a super drapey tie-dye top. I always pick up anything that says made in Italy. I don't even have to check it out. I'm trying to do a little sorting over here in the corner. Okay, I've decided I'm putting this Walter Rager back because comps on this brand are just horrible, which is too bad. And I'm going to put the Escada Sport back. I'm deciding on the Free People dress. It's got a couple little pulls, but it's actually really good. All right. Okay, so I just checked comps on this because this is a brand I used to love, but I haven't picked up in a while. It's Bella Doll. It's a very expensive dress. They make button-down shirts. This is a flannel dress, but the comps on it are just not there anymore, so I'm glad I checked. This is Bowden. I love Bowden, and look how cute this is. It's a US 6, and this is sort of what Bowden's known for. It's like these fun color prints, so that'd be five bucks. I wish it was a bigger size. I wish it was the right season, because now I'm really shopping for winter and fall, but it's kind of hard to pass up a nice, cute Bowden dress for five bucks. I also found this Eileen Fisher sweater. I'm just on a roll. I went to put something back. And I found this Eileen Fisher size large sweater. It's a linen cotton nubby sweater, so that's fantastic. Um, it's a little overwhelming in here. The store is just huge. I know I won't get through all of it. Um, so I'm sort of just kind of cruising around and looking at what I want to look at. The music is super loud too, so if I'm filming with you, I really do have to kind of talk non-stop. <laughs> Okay, I just want to show these for fun. Look at these princess boutique dresses. I think a lot of women wear these for their quinceañeras around here, their 15th birthdays. Look at all this tool and 
Jewel and Sparkle. Oh my god, is that not so fun? I want an opportunity to wear a complete princess dress, but I don't see anything like that coming for me anytime soon. But those are so fun. It's getting busy in here now, so I should probably get a little bit more focused. Um, I did find a, cute, a few cute things in my cart I don't think I've shown you yet. One is this Valentino Naldi dress. You know what I'm gonna say, anything that says made in Italy, but this is linen, beautiful floral, kind of like baby doll, tiered. I might wear that myself. And then I got a couple other dresses. Okay, can somebody please, please, please explain to me this phenomena? Well, I'm literally at like the largest Goodwill I've ever been in. And someone will come and stand exactly right next to me and like pinch in and try, you know, and start moving the dress hangers like five hangers for me. I just don't understand it. Like there's, wait your turn. There's plenty of room. There's plenty for everybody. Get out of my space. Sometimes I just walk off because I'm like, who cares? I don't care. But then sometimes I'm sort of tempted to hold my ground. There are so many dresses and I'm kind of getting out of dress season, but because I found a couple of cute dresses without even trying. Oh my God, look at this vintage Y2K number. Holy smokes, I could probably get this and sell it with keywords, Y2K 2000s. Long flannel maxi dress, but it has zero brand. And that is very difficult. But if I was a more diehard vintage seller, I would do that. Okay, I'm, I, I'm tired of looking at dresses. We have to find a new section, you guys, okay? A new place to look. Okay, Goodwill. I love you and everything, but marked up $15 for an Ann Taylor petite light career skirt. Why is that $15? If Goodwill has a very special item, then I support them in marking things up their business. That makes sense. But a lot of the, my, my gripe with them is that it's just random stuff like that. Like there doesn't seem to be a good enough system. And so it's just frustrating. Like if they've got some new tag Lululemon or some designer piece or something, go ahead, mark it up a little bit. But it just seems crazy to be to be marking up just like mediocre stuff. I wish they'd come up with like an actual system. I don't feel like looking through shorts, which is where we are now, so I'm just gonna be walking and seeing if anything catches my eye, any good fabric or something. But I can't go through all of this, that'd be crazy. And you can't make too much money on shorts anyway. They'd have to be pretty special, right? Some athletic thing or some amazing brand. <sighs> jeans you guys jeans would be five what jeans would I be willing to pay five dollars for we'll take a, a quick peek okay now I have to decide if I'm really sticking to my system because this is a wherever collection J gel medium slash large petite it's like a wide boxy sleeveless top but I think I could only list that for like 20 and get 15 to 20 this is an athleta um, it's cool though. It's like a, almost a turtleneck sweater. I wonder if it's wool. If it was wool, I could price it higher. It feels like wool. I'm doing some bad camera stuff right now. Oh, it is wool. Okay, so a wool long sleeve. I better look it over really carefully for little holes, but I'll probably put the JJ back, which kills me because I know I can sell that reliably and fast, but that's 350 to maybe... 15, 20, so that doesn't really go with my system. Are you guys super proud of me? I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to keep to my system for everything, but at least I'm trying. Okay, so this sweater just felt good. I'm like, what is this, Eileen or something? This just feels so good. Couldn't find anything. Long, thick cardigan, kinda layered, and then I saw this on this hanging rack. Lululemon, baby, turn it over. There it is. Oh my god, it's beautiful too. It's so beautiful. 
Um, I found a cut loose tunic. I talk about this brand a lot. Still haven't decided about that North Face shirt. Blue lemon. This is a cut loose tunic. This is designed in San Francisco. It's a boutique. It's a this is waffle knit and it's very, very, very expensive. I threw this in here because I just this thing's amazing. Northern Isles, never heard of it. But the embroidery and the stitching is so detailed on these sunflowers. I don't know. I might just have to get that. So I am like absolutely killing it. Feeling very, very, very grateful. I just saw an anthro piece over here, but I kind of don't like it. Saturday, Sunday, this is a really good anthro tag, but I just think this is a little bit of a dated style, but oh no, it's got elbow pads. Oh, that's good, isn't it? But I think it sort of looked, does it look dated with this waterfall style? All right, for $3.50, I'm putting it in. My cart is getting insane, insane. Oh my God, I just did this whole video not recording. That's so embarrassing because it means I was just talking to myself. Anyway, picked up this cute soft surrounding size medium. Really cool, um, like distressed waffle thermal with all this embroidery. And, um, I gotta go somewhere and sort because look at this situation. It's pretty bad or good. Just means I found me a lot, but I have to organize it. Look at how much I've gone through already. I mean, isn't that just insane? This store is so big. I've been here for an hour and a half. So, um, I'm gonna go over to that little area and do a little bit more sorting, but I'm very thrilled with what I'm finding so far. Okay, I think this is a strong piece to end on. A little Patagonia. I absolutely love this. It's lightweight corduroy button down with like these big pockets super cute right love it love it love it here's my pile of all my stuff i think i showed you most everything and most everything's going to be 350 five dollars for dresses 350 for tops three dollars for pants so i'll meet you um i'll meet you with the total should i do like a maybe i should do a thumbnail in here i never do that Okay friends, that was pretty amazing. I was in there for two hours. My total was $82.50 for all that stuff. And it's different than when I go to the bins because when I go to the bins, I'm willing to pick up stuff that I know will flip for 12 or 15 and I mix it in with higher dollar stuff. But this is all really good stuff, I think. Okay, you guys, I just want to show you how this Goodwill is in the weirdest, weirdest location. Like, I don't know how anybody finds it or even knows that it's here. It's never been very busy when I come, but it's like down this weird alleyway. Let me show you. Okay, so it's down here. Now, they put up this sign, which is kind of cool, but it's like, here we go, down this very strange little alleyway situation, and it's there in the back, like... I don't know how I even found this place. I never come here. I have not been here in years. The only reason I'm going is because of this 50% off day. Looks like there's people, but um, let's see how this one is. The other one I think I did really good, so. Okay, this one's a shame. This is Prana, a really good outdoor wear brand. Size XL too, but look, you found a hole. That is unfortunate. Otherwise, I might have considered picking that up. I am picking up this Chico's kimono. I love a good kimono, especially with this crochet and lace detail. That's a yes for me. I wish it was a bigger size, but I like it enough that I think it might do well. This is an anthropology brand, Erin plus Alley, but I thought this piece was a little bit too plain, so I'm gonna leave that one for some. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is a plus size soft surroundings and it's linen, so that is a really good pickup right there. The music is super loud in this part of the store. And then I have some more soft surroundings in a size 
3X. This one's like a buffalo plaid flannel, and this one is a velour velvet tunic top. So I love that brand, and it does especially well in larger sizes. What is this? Oh, this is so gorgeous. Don't make me say it. Leaf's Daughter. Did you see the spelling on that? This is an anthropology piece, and it's 100% silk with the most gorgeous floral print. Get in my cart. Right now, you are coming home with me. What else do we have here? A little Banana Republic. Just some more basics that I have to sift through trying to find the really good stuff. This is Cabbie. What do you guys think about Cabbie? This is like a sweatshirt jacket. I'm just not sure about the style on this one. It is a size large. It would probably be $5, so I think I'm gonna pass on this. I'm just not thrilled with the style. This is Anthropology Saturday, Sunday. What a cool piece. It has sweatshirt sleeves and then like a sweater knit front. So I really like this piece. It's quite substantial. This is like an anthropology loungewear brand. Oh my gosh, look at this, Field and Flower. Another anthropology piece. Novelty prints like this tend to sell really well for me. This has like retro inspired umbrellas on it. Oh my gosh, cutest tunic. I love this cardigan, how it's all ruched and gathered, and it's by Vanessa Virginia, which is another anthropology brand. I really like this line. Their dresses have sold pretty well for me. A cote, a cote. This is something I have to look up because it looks interesting, but I don't know anything about that brand, and it turns out it wasn't that great. Memorize this tag, friends. This is Equipment Femme, very expensive, and this is a silk button down top. Okay, this has oh, to be just one of my best lines of the day. Isn't this adorable? This little tunic top with umbrellas on it. I mean, love that. Okay, I want to show you a few more things that I'm putting in my cart. This is the brand Faherty, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y. This is a basic, but it's an extra large navy blue tank top so I love picking up this brand and this is a J Jill it's a size large it's a midi dress but look at all that heavy embroidery totally giving off boho Johnny was vibes it's all heavy in embroidery so and a good size on that and a midi dress yes please Okay, I found a bunch of free people, which you guys know I love. This is a free people size eight, and it's a pretty little dress. And this is a really cool size extra small thermal and sweater knit top. And then I found this. I don't find this off in Vineyard Vines. And this is a Chico's linen top. I spot this sweater. It's Sleeping on Snow, which is an anthropology brand but it just looked a little matted to me. The fabric on it just did not look right. So I left that one. I oh, might actually be able to record over here. The music is so loud over there. These are the Athleta Chelsea Utility Joggers in a size six. The joggers still perform very well for me between like 25 and $40, depending on the piece. I'm obsessed with this free people piece. It's like a thermal and a sweater mixed together. These contrasting fabrics, absolutely love that. This is a Chico's linen shirt, and it's a three, which is an XL. No one iron. I think it's linen. I'll get it if it's linen. Isn't it kind of cute? Yeah, 100% linen. So that should do pretty good. All right, I have to sort this crazy card. I think I've shown you most everything, but I'm up by the light so I can actually, like, see... I'm obsessed with this. Look at this heavily embroidered dress. It's like a midi. Maybe I should look around a little bit more and then do the sorting. Because I'm kind of all over the place. Let's see. I just got here, you guys, and my cart's crazy. I think that other Goodwill is just seriously picked over by the time I got there. Alright, should we look at some pants? 
or dresses. Hmm. Let's see. It's pretty. There's stuff everywhere. Oh my god, skirts. Dresses. Hmm. Pants would only be three bucks, so I think I'll look over there. Okay, when this happens, not one, but two pair. If I could get the hanger off. Of cool pants. OMG, these are usually $30 to $40. Right there. Oh, look at my car. busy here and I'm having the issue where people are in my space. You're not going to believe this. I just found another pair. Oh, but look. Eight long. If it was a little fly, I'd still get them because I think the brand does that well, but that's too big of a fly. I better check over those other ones really well. I like the stuff by this brand, but it doesn't sell well. But I love that brand. Ooh, some linen. Another brand, Lauren Conrad, where I love everything, but I can't sell it. Okay, I pulled over to do a little sorting because my card is out of control and it would be so much easier. So I'll show you a few other things I found. This is my favorite new athletic brand, Packed, um, Earth's favorite clothing organic cotton. They're small. I wish they were bigger, but definitely a brand to keep your eye out for. Every piece I've got is sold really, really fast. These are Garnet Hill. I love this brand. I just picked up a few other pieces today, but I just don't know about the style of these. They look maybe a little bit dated or something, so I think I'll put those back. These were Theory Men's Pants in a 36, just like a classic chino sort of deal, and the men's stuff does pretty good. And a little Eileen, just some light brown, um, like stretchy pull-on pants. So I'm just going to check for condition and then start sorting. I think I've showed you most everything else. Someone cut the um, someone cut the elastic off these joggers, you guys. So those have to go back. Bummer! I'm trying to go through all my pants. Good thing I looked. Check the zippers. Check the hems. These are those theories men men's pants. These are really nice. Those are in really nice condition. Pants, pants, pants are only three bucks. All right, so that's good. I think that's the pants. Now I'll go through some tops. See you in a bit. Okay, so I happened upon someone's entire 3X collection of soft surroundings. So it's like, I didn't show it all to you. These are all 3X soft surroundings, kimonos, and tops. Let me turn it the other way so I can show you. So we have this kimono. And this one, they're all, yep, 3X. Like a tunic top, I love, this one's Lucky Brand. I do really well with Lucky Brand and Plus. You want to try this one? And there's more. There's more 3X soft surroundings. Okay, I've been thrifting literally all day from 10 to 3. My total in there was $94. I got 17 tops, one skirt, a bunch of pants, a few dresses. Unbelievable. I ran into a viewer named Kat, so that was really fun. She's like, Quimby, and I jump like a mile. <laughs> so embarrassing. I have the worst, like, startle reflex for no reason. Like, even if I'm expecting somebody, 
I still jump, so it's me, it's not you. Anyway, that was fun. She was shopping for men's stuff right after I said I should probably do more men's. Um, I'm so tired and so thirsty. I can't wait to go home and just chill, although I still have to go to the post office with all my packages. <laughs> I'm such a wimp, you guys. I'm not like, I wanna be a hardcore thrifter and thrift all day like I did, but it's like hard on me, like it's a lot. I still have to do my listings when I get home, so I better get going. But thank you for spending the day at Goodwill with me. Um, let me know if you guys had a 50% off sale and how you did. And I appreciate you so much for watching. I just love it. And I'll see you soon. Bye. So I got 13 tops. And I got one little t-shirt, one little sleeveless athleta tank top for myself. I got four pants and one jacket. I can't figure out actually what this receipt says. <laughs> That's so me. I'm like, I do not know how she did this. 13 tops at $7, but then it was 50% off. I don't understand this receipt, you guys. That's bad. Jeans, jacket, dress, $30. Oh, three. I don't know. Thank God for bloopers because this is a total mess. My friend Renee said she's been coming literally every day. Every day to the Goodwill because it's 50% off. And we never have sales, you guys, so. Whoa. Whoa, lady. Whoa. Am I dropping stuff? Because it's getting crazy over here. Oh, so much. In the middle of a video? Uh, no, I guess it's like this. Let me just show you. These are all 3X. Okay, friends, someone's starting up their really loud car. Maybe I'll wait for them to go by. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not gonna go by quick. Here they go. <laughs> ah.